Hello, and welcome to Ready, Set, Indie Games. I am Ready, Set, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am Ready, Set, and on my channel, I predominantly cover indie games, so 98% of the time, you will see indie games on my channel. I typically live stream Tuesday through Saturday from 11 p.m. to about 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, we are going to be taking a look at God Strike, which was given to the dailygamepad.net. For those of you who do not know, in addition to having my own website, I do coverage for the dailygamepad.net, and that information will be in the description below. But before I do begin my playthrough of God Strike or my gameplay video of God Strike, I'd like to take the time to thank the developers and publishers for providing us here at the dailygamepad.net with a free copy of God Strike to play uh, for this video. Again, God Strike recently just came out and it is available on PC and the Nintendo Switch. It is normally. $14.99 USD, but it is on sale for $11.99 up until April 22nd, 2021 at about 10 a.m. Um, that is when it will go off sale. So if you're interested in the game and you like what you see, I would say definitely pick this up. And so going through this, it seems that there is more from when I first covered the, the demo back in... February during the Steam Game Festival. So we're going to take a look at God Strike now. Um, and again, of course, all links for God Strike will be found in the description below. And there will be a full-fledged article if you are watching this video through the dailygamepad.net. So let us begin. So there is arena mode, story mode, daily challenge, challenge mode. They've added leaderboards, our settings, and of course, you can quit. Now, the game does use both keyboard and mouse, as well as controller. For the sake of sanity, we will be playing this with a controller. I think I will go with story mode instead of arena mode. I think when I played the demo, that might have been arena mode. But we'll go with story mode, so you guys can kind of see a bit of the story. Alrighty, let's see. This is but one of the stories spoken by those who survived. Long time ago, way before when the seas flooded, beyond the winds that blew the clouds, <laughs> and before the mountains rose high above the sky, a being with the power of a thousand suns gave its color to this world, okay? It created life, eternal beauty, which had to be controlled. Thus, its power was split into seven herald masks. Their duty was to find a living vessel who would channel their immense power. Each and all of them found their barrier. Except for one. Oh no. Common folk worshipped them, offering their time in exchange for peace. Uh oh. But they were tainted by power, and with it came greed. A war between heralds began, a battle unknown to the living tribes. Oh, man. One herald of great power devoured many of its siblings in the battle. To combat the herald's immense powers, the tribes of Honora had no choice but to unite. They sealed the road herald within an ancient temple built upon timeless soils. Okay, so they locked them away or locked them away. Peace reigned during thousands of years while the other heralds battled far away. Okay. However, a mysterious corruption started surging from the depths. Soil, vegetation, and people began to die. The tribes must once again unite. All herded into the temple, only to discover that it was a trap laid by the captured one. Uh-oh. Seeping this power from the prison, it spread a cloud of devastation, corruption. Devastating corruption. Sorry about that. 
Centuries later, a tribe still remains, surviving on a neighboring island. Until the age of corruption found its way onto their land. Oh no! A young adventurer abandons her tribe in search of a cure. Okay, so female protagonist. Exploring her way through Anora, hopeless for her unsuccessful voyage. Until a bright scion light bursts into the sky. A light that calls her. It's her answer. A bur buried and forgotten mask in the depths of a ruined temple. Okay. So, some of the cool things about God Strike is, as you can see here, time is both life and currency. You can buy abilities here. Uh, use LT, RB, LB, RB, or RT to obtain or give back abilities. Um, again, your time is also used to spend. <laughs> so you have to be cautious. Um, of course, your time is in the middle and how much of your soul costs to use the ability. Um, right now, we have... Tala teleports forward to a nearby location we can take that for now collect souls to use spells got it enemy attacks drain your time when time ends you become vulnerable you will have one last hit all right i understand all right let's see Herald Step Trinity. Write this target. Open Arcane Codex. Okay, so that's our. So we have four minutes and 35 seconds to beat this uh, particular creature. Okay, so I could take this one as well. Okay, so I think when I originally played the demo. These actually cost uh, time, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like that had changed in the full version of this. So Trinity, three energy balls orbit Tala and get destroyed once an enemy projectile hits them. Okay. Nope, we want that. All right, let's go do this. Um, I would practice, but then I feel like if I complete the enemy, that's going to trigger me. So, for the sake of not being triggered, we're just gonna go right for it. We're gonna go fight this guy. Unfortunately, it is me. I am the last Herald. Aww. Tutorial. Okay. Oh, did he really just throw, or did it just really throw that at me? Grab these soul stuff. No. And so, ideally, this is a twin stick shooter. out of its way and it looks like this has three different uh, stages to it overall uh, game is gorgeous the controls are pretty fluid <laughs> yeah don't have enough souls to dash okay so we completed that one. Looks like we're going into, I think, another... Yep, so it has three forms. So the squares at the bottom shows you how many forms it has. Oops, probably should have dodged that. All right, uh, grab that. Yeah, probably don't want to be in the corners. Okay. Grab 
grab that. Oh, did I really let him hit me? I did. I was legit trying to grab the soul there. Oops. Sometimes you gotta be careful too. Like grabbing the souls may not be as much as I'd like to grab them to have my dash. But yeah, they're brave. So we can at least dodge him. There is no way to set up for difficulty. In the case, there's no way to change the difficulty. So you're playing it based off the difficulty. It's set up when you first turn on the game. Oh, and I walked right into that, and I didn't even need to. I just did it. Because I definitely want to be able to dash. The dash is what's kind of saving me. To be fair, <laughs> that dash is what's really saving me. Oh, I gotta be careful. Because again, once you like, um, once you um, pretty much like tap out in a sense. Grab that. This one is what was really because I never really caught the patterns for this one. Uh, okay. We obviously don't want to stay in one spot. We only get one hit left. Uh, and I got hit. Dang it. That happened. Okay. Let's try this again. But we do... I need to be careful and... Try to save my projectiles, to be fair. Thought I grabbed it, but I did not. And that's gonna cause me. Oh, I got hit? Really? From a move like that, though? He really threw that at me. Are you kidding me? I 
I would love to be able to complete him, you know, at least before the gameplay video is over with. Howdy, dog. All right, so we're back on phase two of this particular. And to be fair, yes, I could have practiced. To be fair, yes, I could have. <laughs> Yeah, this is still a cool game. Okay, I haven't seen that move before. That was new. Yeah, he's doing new stuff now. Okay. It becomes very chaotic. <laughs> it gets really chaotic at that part. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh, I need to be careful here because I'm losing... I, lose, I lost all of my um, projectiles like right off the bat. It's not very good. Really? Because obviously the, you know, the more you can, uh, time you can save, the better. I feel like this portion is, you know, I kind of have this one and this portion of it in the back, per se. It's the second one when he gets to like that last little bit that it really like gets me. Where is he going for? Oh, crap. He didn't, I was just like anticipating him to do the other thing and he did not do it. I wonder like if it's kind of like one of those, if you stop him from like summoning the ray, you know, does he like not do it? Crap. I have a feeling he's gonna come my way, no. I have got to do something that, like, not take so much damage during this part. Really? All right, well, GG. GG. <laughs> like, like, I can't even get mad. Look, the game also asks, is like, hey, do you want to go to easy mode? And I feel like I could probably take them. I'm going to go one more uh, mode, like as regular mode, then we will tone it down to easy just to see if I can kind of get past him, you know. Plus, it'll give us a chance to compare easy mode with the um, hard mode. 
I like how the game just was like, hey, you want to play easy? Like, well, no, kind of don't, but if you think I should, game, if that is your final answer, then I will do just that. Because if we can limit our damage here, we'll be good. That'll give us more time to deal with him in his second form. At least that's what I'm thinking. I needed to limit. Now here, too, I also need to kind of uh, limit the damage. Like, find where he's going to go. And then try to make sure I'm in between. Oh, because I stopped it. Oh. But that's okay, because we're doing a lot better than when I last... Oh. We're doing a lot better than the last time I did this, so... Oh, which way? Ah, I went the wrong way. Really? This is the part that gets me. It's like he literally does a lot of stuff. Oh, please let us get it. Nailed it, but I still only have one hit. <laughs> Cause you don't get time back, unfortunately. But at least we get to see the third form, right? What's going on here? Cause I only had the one hit. Ah, oh, I was so close. I I was so close. Um, let's do this mode one more time. <laughs> Typically, this is how I am when I live stream too. Cause I'm like, I just feel like I was so close, you know? And so ideally I don't want to just like give up. We might do good this time, let's see. We got him that time. I don't think I took too much damage at all. I don't I don't even remember getting hit. So that was good. Alright, let's uh, uh oh yeah, he does this. Gotta be careful. Watch where he jumps so that I end up in between the actual fireballs. Okay, so now he's doing that. Okay. Like, I have to make sure I'm in between the fireballs. And then I have to be careful. He's not doing his laser, which I guess is a good thing. He did pick up speed there. I saw that, though. Now he's doing his laser, but it always goes that way, so. I 
was gonna say, right? It always goes upwards. Now he's gonna do this. And hopefully this time we won't have too much issue. I kind of I'm trying to open up a pathway to hit him oh and I'm, I'm like literally just standing there in the way okay so we are back on the third <laughs> fourth I don't know how well we're gonna do but I did say that um, I need to know his pattern oh Seems like he just, like, rock smashes. Oh, what is this? Yeah, there was no way for me to dodge that. Why is the third mode so easy though? Like the third part of him is so easy. Um, I was gonna do easy mode, but I think I wanna beat him in this mode because I'm so close. So I, I really like, would love to be able to beat him in this particular mode because I'm so close, you know? Like ideally that's what I would like to do. I want to be too close. Too close for comfort. You're in my personal space. Call him dude. Not nice, call him dude. I think we got him. Got him. And I don't think I took a lot of damage that time. Like, one thing I noticed too, like as you play this, you start to figure out the patterns. And just think, this is just a tutorial monster that you're fighting here. This is not even like into the actual game yet. How it's gonna come down. It has to come downward. Oh, I got caught and I did not mean to do that. He should be getting ready to go to his last mode. I got caught in the corner. Crud. And then here's my favorite part, of course. get up in there. Might be ideal to do that. I don't know if we're gonna make it again, but oh man, no, he is brutal. And then I ran into the All right. We would see it will be activated until you beat this boss. Let's see how easy, easy boat is. I'm just curious to see how easy it is now. But I think if I had played a little bit more, I probably could have beat him in normal mode though. 
But for the sake of the video, if I can get it done, you know, then I'm good. I really got it, huh? That happened. Okay, so we took him out in his first mode, but usually the first mode doesn't really give us too much trouble. It's usually the second. The third I kind of figured out. The second tends to be the harder. One thing I can see is that um, in easy mode, the um, power that it like the hits take off do more damage i will say that it looks like it's gonna come upward so i gotta go this way gotta be careful Okay, because I'm like, I don't think any of the stuff is hitting me. Not that that's a bad thing, but I mean, you know, ideally. Okay, so we're on the third mode. We're going to see what happens with this. Let's see if we can, um, at least, I mean, because this is easy, it, you know, at least it's supposed to be easy. Really? We took damage, huh? we want to be wow that happened okay we got this i know we got this um we'll play another round of easy and then and then if it doesn't if I don't beat it this time, we will uh, call the video here, though. But I'm hoping we'll get it, you know? Now oh, you should, like... Oh, he's me. Now oh, he should do his fireballs. Because I was like, he hasn't done those yet. I think if you're close to him, he does the fireballs. So maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe I want to be close. I was bamboozled. Okay, so we, we got through the first part. It's the second part that really be getting me, though. I kind of figured out the pat pattern for the second part, so... Because he's going to come to wherever last spot she was in.
which should give us an idea where to kind of I'm curious though yeah if you get close to him on this particular one he shoots out the fireballs I'm gonna put that theory to the test though He does. If you get close to him in his second mode, he shoots out fireballs. And here we go. My favorite, not favorite part of this battle. Gotta get out of there. Gotta get out of there. Uh, uh, gotta be careful. Now we're destroying like two at a time, so. We want to go into the third battle with at least a minute. Ideally. Ideally, I would love to be able to go in there with... Okay, we're not going to go in there with a minute. Because I kept goofing. Alright, that's second mode now. Let's see if we can maybe beat the third mode. Another issue to... This does hurt. <laughs> like my hand after a while. Oh, he came in my corner. Go away. Please. He's, wait, did I get hit? I didn't even see I got hit. Or did I? No, I must have ran out of time. So we have to be very careful with this I didn't get hit I ran out of time okay so yes yes you I know those that are watching like did you really just try to cheese it in the corner yes yes I did I will 100 percent admit that I literally just tried to cheese it in the corner <laughs> there oh man this game is so fun it's kind of hard to stop playing uh so this time we will make this our last go around <laughs> for sure um and so far I've been enjoying um God Strike though and like I said just think this is just a tutorial boss you know and it is a twin stick shooter, but it does use also keyboard um, controls as well, keyboard and mouse controls as well. Um, for me, I tend to like to uh, play with a controller when I play these types of games. Maybe I should stop like constantly shooting at him because <laughs> I think that eats up my time too. Like only shoot at him when I can take shots, you know. Okay, so we got through that part pretty quickly. Now, this is the part that always, like, kind of gets me messed up. So we figured out if you get close to him, I think, we discovered that by getting close to him, he won't use the laser. He actually ends up using the, the ball. Yeah, the fireballs. Okay. So we need to use that to our advantage here. That's what I would say. We kind of really need to use that to our advantage. Like, make sure to dodge those, right? But be close to him so he can still shoot out the fireballs because those we know we can kind of, like, dodge, you know? <sighs> Crap! I just said make sure we are close to him, but he should be getting ready to do his other little final form now. Can I actually get up in there? I don't know, that looked like that was an opportunity to like kind of get up in there, wasn't it? Okay, there's our opportunity. I gotta be careful. Then move around until we get to an opening. Is what I think might be our best bet. 
Like, because you don't want to keep exploding these rocks. You know? So let's go around till we get another opening. All right, so we got close to a minute this time. Maybe this time we'll beat them. Maybe this time we might have it in the bag. I was trying, I was greedy and tried to get the soul. I can't believe I let myself get back into that corner. Ugh. Yeah, no, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you hit me again. Not like that, buddy. I wasn't paying attention because I was legit looking at my health and like I was looking at his health bar so I didn't see him come at me. Ah, oh. I'm legit like so close though. That's okay. Okay. So we got this first. It's like I'm getting a little bit quicker each time I do this. At least that's what it seems like to me. We know if we stay close to them. Okay, gotta be careful. Come on. Oh, that time he didn't do it. That time he used his laser. Or maybe if I don't take damage. I'm gonna put that theory to the test too, because so if I don't take damage, he uses his. Really, you just stood there too, <laughs> like, like hi. Yeah, we're not doing so hot. <sighs> Gotta be careful. Don't want to keep exploding these rocks. Like, legit, we don't want to keep exploding those rocks. I want to get, like, where it's openings. Okay, so we have a minute and 22 seconds. I'm pretty, I'm confident we might be able to beat them now. Okay, that's new. That. We didn't get into an opening. Oh, I kind of got in his way. And I don't want to be in this corner. Okay, so we ran out of time. So now it's legit just being cautious. I 
I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh my god. No. I was literally right there. What? What? No. No. Like, come on, I was literally right there. Uh, okay. We have to definitely make this our last uh, play. But I'm like, I was right there, like, for real. <laughs> they played me. Because if we can get this done kind of quick, and I kind of feel like we're learning the second pattern a little bit better. This one we have down packed. But even when we played it on normal, we had it kind of learned, you know? So this one's not the bad one. It's the second one I really need to kind of get down pat. And no damage causes him to shoot out fireballs. That is at least, I think that was the theory we came up with. That if he, no, that's fine though. Oh, that time he shot out fireballs. I was not expecting that. And so that threw me off. We gotta clear some of these out, unfortunately. Just got to be careful because we need and we need openings you don't want to do too many though because you see when I do too many it becomes a problem all right so third mode and yeah we definitely have to stop this I want to beat him though. I do. I legit want to. Uh... happened again got him <laughs> oh my goodness I got him that works I'm okay with this <laughs> I am okay with this we got him all right, so we got them. Took us about a good 30 minutes, but we got them. So now we have um, Singularity B, which is 30 seconds when we use it. And then we also have um, a Spike Boy. So you have both of those now as well. But... Uh, again... That is God Strike. <laughs> and again, God Strike just recently released, and it is available on PC and the Nintendo Switch. The regular price for this is $14.99 USD, but it is currently on sale to April the 22nd to for $11.99 USD. And again, thank you to the developers for providing the dailygamepad.net with a free copy of God Strike to play for this video and for review. Again, really, really enjoy this one. And if you're into twin stick shooters, I highly recommend go picking this one up. 
As always, if you cannot purchase it now, wish list it. As I always tell everyone in my stream, when in doubt, wish list it out because it does help the developers tremendously. So you can always wish list this as well. So I am already set in the games. And, um, or I'm ready set, rather. I am ready set, and this is ready set in the games. And as always, everyone, please be safe and keep gaming.